Women should start thinking about the possibility that they may have a so-called autoimmune problem, obviously, if they have an autoimmune disease. Now, autoimmune diseases are quite frequent. The most frequent autoimmune disease in women is thyroid disease. Any form of thyroid disease, whether it is overfunction or underfunction, hypo or hyperthyroidism, represents autoimmunity against thyroid. But other autoimmune diseases from lupus to rheumatoid arthritis, colitis, uh, all of that is associated with an activated immune system. So apropos is sometimes a hyperallergenic state. There are some women who have an activated immune system because they are tremendously allergic to something. Uh, celiac disease, for example, where they are allergic to wheat. Uh, there are v many common immune pathways between being hyperallergic and having an autoimmune problem. So the same effects can occur towards implantation and uh, towards uh, pregnancy in general in, in patients who have this kind of hyperallergenic immune response. So whenever there's a history then it is obvious that the patient should consider the possibility that this affects her chances. And unfortunately, that is frequently not well understood within the medical community. Uh, we hear all the time uh, that patients who have, uh, who, who have obvious autoimmune diseases are being told by their physicians, don't worry, it has nothing to do with your fertility problem. That is categorically wrong. That's a must. You need to see somebody uh, who understands the interplay between immune system and uh, pregnancy.